Hi guys, I'm just out visiting Northam today. Uh, I'm actually here to shoot the um, ballooning championships which are on here at the moment, but I'll probably hang around uh, and do a bit of an astro shoot this evening. Um, yeah, so it was a fun morning. There was a bit of fog around. I uh, got to see the balloons launch and then got to follow them for a little while. So lots of fun doing that. I'll probably post up a couple of photos relating to that. Um, so during the day, I'm just out scouting a little bit, see if I can find some uh, spots to do some astro tonight. Uh, I'm currently at one here. This is just on the Avon River, just where Katrine Road turns off the uh, the main road into uh, Northam, whatever that is, Great Eastern Highway, maybe. Can't remember. Um, and I've shot I've shot here once before, but uh, I may try it again tonight. Um, so yeah, I'll just turn you around. So beautiful little spot here, Avon just lazily uh, winding through, and the beautiful thing is the uh, Milky Way core will just, in fact it goes that way, will just line up beautifully rising up through here um, probably about uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight um, and we've I've got until about 10.30 before the moon rises so yeah may give this little spot a go um, and yeah from here I'll go and check out a few other spots and uh, See what else we can see. This is another little spot uh, that's pretty well known to astrophotographers in Perth. This is Glenfield Homestead back here behind me. Um, yeah, so it's a great little spot, but it's got a few challenges um, and it's not going to work at the moment because the Milky Way core uh, is rising in the southeast and this really needs um, probably uh, a setting Milky Way core um, in the southwest to work if you want to include the two things in the same frame. Um, so I could get in behind it but it is actually on private property, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd pop here anyway and uh, just show you what this looks like. And um, definitely a spot to return to later in the season with the setting Milky Way. Um, and uh, try it again there. One other challenge here is I would imagine up here, sort of up here behind, there's going to be a, a fair bit of light pollution because it's that is back in the direction of uh, Perth city um, and so even though we're a good good way out from Perth um, you know, close to an hour's drive I suspect there's still going to be a fair bit of light pollution from that westerly direction Hi guys, it's always a bit funny to uh, be driving around paddocks looking for interesting landscapes and um, what I'm actually seem to be looking for is lone trees half the time. So uh, you can just see this guy here has grabbed my attention. He's sitting up there on a, um, a ridge line and the Milky Way core will uh, rise up behind him. So um, yeah, I, th I reckon I might pop back here tonight and uh, grab that as a, uh, a just a bit of a minimalist sort of image. Um, probably try and shoot it with a 35. Maybe even go a uh, bit of a longer focal length. I'll just I'll play it by ear once I get here. But the um, yeah, where am I? Ugh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? The core will actually come up sort of through this area behind. Um, and it's the cause of pretty much rising um, as it gets dark. And I've also been hearing um, rumours and looking at the forecast that there may be some aurora tonight. So that would be a nice little bonus if I could pick that up. Um, at the moment you can see there's a bit of cloud in the sky but the forecast again is for that to clear. So the plan for the rest of the day, I will continue driving around see if anything else grabs my attention. Um, and then when there's another balloon launch uh, late afternoon, 
and, and they have to be back on the ground at sunset. So we might chase some balloons again for the rest of the day and then pop back out here and maybe back to the oven if I have time. Um, and that will pretty much do me for tonight until the, the moon rises. Okay, well, let's just see what plays out for the day anyway. See you guys. Hi guys, um, we're back out at the uh, Lone Tree. Um, so I've just shot a series of um, long exposures for the foreground and I've shot uh, one set uh, at 35 mil, which I will stack. I shot three of them, so I'll stack those. They were two minute exposures. I'll stick the, all the settings up on this video. and. I've also shot another set of uh, exposures at 85 mil. So the 85 mil, I'm going to have a go at um, shooting uh, Ro, the Ro Ofiuchi complex um, with the 85 mil. Um, so I'll do a set of tracked images for that. It's something that really comes out well when it, when it uh, works. So yeah, we'll, we'll see at the end of this video whether that's come together or not. And, um, and that rises about an hour or so before the Milky Way core. So it's, it's kind of cool to give yourself something to do um, while you're waiting for the core to rise. And then um, I'll grab a series of track shots uh, with 35 uh, mil. And then um, uh, if it's all good, I'll wander down to the Avon River, which we discussed earlier and grab some shots there and that is probably about all we're going to get tonight because the moon's rising at 10.30 and it's about 7.30 now so by the time I've done all of that that might just about be it. I might just I'll give you a quick look at what the um, foreground shots look like on the back of the camera now. So these are the uh, 35 mil shots um, and uh, they've come out quite well um, you can see it's going to be, uh, it's quite a minimalist little image, um, but uh, hopefully that'll come together once I get the track shot of the Milky Way, um, which will be sort of coming up through this area. Um, and the, that's the, hopefully that comes up all right, that's the 85 mil, so you can see uh, significantly, um, closer and the uh, Rho Ofiuchi complex is just in this region here. 
Okay, so we've got the tracker set up and I've actually just about finished the track shots now. So we'll just have a quick look at how those are coming out. So they're looking pretty good. A um, little bit of air glow, but not as much as there has been a few other weeks. You can probably hear the train coming through in the background there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this uh, location. Um, you can see the tracker all set up there. I think I ran through that in one of the previous videos, but maybe on another one I'll actually run through um, setting up the tracker, which might interest a few people. Um, yeah, so we'll leave that here. I'm going to move on now to the last location, and uh, that's the Avon. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I've got a feeling there might be a bit of light pollution coming from northern there, so if that doesn't work out, uh, you won't see that image at the end. But I'm gonna pack down now and move on to the next spot.